taking escrow. Uh, we are taking escrow from every driver. Escrow in our company is two thousand dollars. We are cutting that for the first ten weeks. Uh, $200 What's up, guys? Lockout Man back again with another podcast for you. I am your humble host, Lockout Man, and this is the Lockout Man podcast show. What's going on, everybody? And in this episode, we're going to be doing another MTC. Yep, that's what's up. MTC, y'all. In this, in this edition of the MTC, we're going to be talking about shy logistics. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let me just turn down the music right quick, man. We're done with the intro. Yes, uh, shy logistics. I came across this company by way of uh, Facebook. Uh, a young lady in a Facebook group, uh, one of my good friends and subscriber uh, sent me this, uh, you know, kind of hit me to this company. And she was saying, yo, there's a young lady in a Facebook group, uh, the She Trucking Facebook group, having a problem with uh, with Shy Logistics. I was like, really? OK. Uh, she was like, can you do me a favor and make the call to them to see what they got to offer? I was like, yeah, sure, we'll do that. We'll do that. And that's what we're doing right now. So shout out to Sheree Moore's uh, She Trucking Group on Facebook. Ladies, if you're a trucker and you want uh and you want to be a part of a good a good trucking group, Sheree Moore's She Trucking Facebook group has more than thousands, thousands of female drivers, helpers. Uh, recruiters in that group to help you out. She trucking, check her out on Facebook. But uh, let's uh, let's talk about uh, shy logistics. Let's bring that up on the uh, let's bring that up on the bit board. Yes, sir. Y'all see that right there? Shy logistics, man. They're located in Elk Grove Village, Illinois. You know that that's a Chicago company. And you know what I find spectacular about Chicago trucking companies? They're black ops. <laughs> Majority of the Chicago trucking companies that I have come across is 1099. Uh, some of them are W-2s, but majority of them are 1099. So let's see what Chicago uh, sh shy logistics have to offer as far as what they have on their website. So let's go to the About Us page. Uh, Shy Logistics was established in 2014 as a recognized, and we recognize a growing need for the industry for individualized, reliable, modern transportation practices. We know that the stories of unsatisfied driver switching from company to company, so we decided to change the business model. Our team got together and recognized the needs of hardworking drivers, steady loads, higher rates, reliable paychecks, and to be treated as a family. That's why we built the foundation of our business on the people that work here. Our family-owned and operated company sets a goal to focus on our employees, and from then our company grew. That's a uh, shy logistics for you. Uh, not much information about uh about what they offer drivers. This is the application. Uh, contact us. This is the contact us page. Careers. Here we go. Let's see what they. Okay, here we go. They say, why work at Shy Logistics? Why work at Shy Logistics? Um, our office is modern, work balanced life. We prideful in our work and people. Their ultimate goal is to make each employee feels as part of the team. And they have opportunities. 
They got growth for drivers. They have driver programs. What are the benefits? Here we go. Uh, their employee benefits are back with a network. Uh, the equipment. Um, that's about it. That's about it. That's that's about it on uh that's that's about it on that, I guess. Um, hmm. Well, not much information on the website, so let's go ahead and jump into this call. Uh yes, I, I can barely hear you. Um yeah, it, it sounds like you're far away. I can I can barely hear you. But uh, my name's uh, LaShawn, and I'm a five-year truck driver. I was just calling to see uh, sh to see what Shy. I'm pronouncing the name right, right? Shy Logistics. That's right. All right, all right. I was just calling to see what what Shy Logistics has to offer. Tell me, are you want to be a company driver or to rent a truck? Uh, I want to be a what now? Company driver or to lease a truck? Oh, you oh you got both of them. So, um, well let's uh, well let's talk about being a company driver. Let me let me see uh let me see what you got uh what, what you got to offer as far as uh, a company driver goes. And I I, I can't ask yeah. question I can't ask questions about the the lease program too, right? If I'm, if I might be interested we, in that, we are offering for company driver zero point fifty cents per mile. We guarantee at least three thousand miles per week. Uh, we need to check your background. I mean, we need to pull up your MBR, your PSP. You need to have over the road experience. Uh, tell me, do you know how to use the electronic key log? Uh, yeah, I'm a five year driver. Who doesn't? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, trust me, some drivers don't know how to use. Uh, we are taking escrow. Uh, we are taking escrow from every driver. Escrow in our company is two thousand dollars. We are cutting that for the first ten weeks, uh, two hundred dollars weekly. If you don't want to work with us anymore, you need to give us two weeks notice uh, to bring our equipment back, to give all the papers, and after thirty to thirty-five days, we need to give your escrow back if everything is okay. Okay, okay. Let's let's rewind for a second because, like I said, it's it's very hard to hear you. I'm I'm guessing you're on a headset, and it sounds like you're. No, I'm not. No, oh, okay. I'm, I'm I'm on the phone. Yeah. Oh, okay. It just sounds like you 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 far away from the phone. So I'm I'm sorry for 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 not uh not hearing you. But you mentioned something about it, a escrow, like. That's right. That's right. Escrow in our company is two thousand dollars, and we are taking escrow for the first ten weeks two hundred dollars weekly. Okay, uh, why, uh, why an escrow? I mean, can you can you tell me a little bit more about that? Like, why, that's why? Basically, that's basically safe deposit. If you make some problems, that we have some money from you. I will tell you on that way. Oh, oh, okay. So, like, if the equipment is dirty, or if I bring the equipment back dirty, or if something like that. Equipment is ruined. If equipment is ruined, if you leave our truck in the middle of the nowhere, if you break the seal, there is million things that that, that you know can happen on the road. Oh, oh, okay, okay. So that's escrow. Okay, and that's, that's uh, good. that's. And you say I, you know, if if I, you know, either get terminated or I leave the company on my own free will, I would get my full two thousand dollars back. That's right. You need to you need to to you need to uh, bring our truck back in Chicago. You need to give us all the papers from every load, and after thirty to thirty five days, we need to give you a throw back. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. 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 Um, yeah, that's <laughs> wow. That's a that's a first. Is that is that for company drivers or uh, for every driver? Oh, lease, for every driver. So including lease for every driver. Oh, okay, yeah, including right. lease. Okay. Okay. Uh, you mentioned that you guys, of course, you know the name is Shy Logistics. So you guys 
are located up in uh, Chicago, right? Is that's, that's is right. that that's, that's correct. Is that's where the main terminal is? That's right. Okay. Uh, so coming to, so coming into orientation, how would you guys be getting me up there, and what might I have to bring? Yeah, uh, you will need to have a valid medical, valid CDL. I can set up a drug test in your place. From what state you are? Okay. Uh, drug tests from, from, will be will be from what state you are are you from ohio right yes or, i'm i'm from ohio yes. so the drug yes. test will be uh, the the drug test we te set up drug test in your place we have we have account with medstop uh, and then i need to find you some kind of transportation in amount of 100 dollars okay so, so that would be bus or plane really depending what we have okay so all right. Um, so the drug testing, as far as pre-employment goes, it, it, would I be doing a urine or will you be sending me off to get uh, a hair follicle? We are sending you one PDF file. You need to go with that and you, we have accounts with them. You will not pay them nothing. And then when you start working with us, we will cut $80 from your check for that. Okay, what wait, 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 wait. I'm I'm confused. Okay, so do at you you get me to the drug testing, right? And we just make appointment and send you the address. Okay, so you, you'll make you'll make the appointment. I go to I go do my, my test. But my question is, do I do a urine test or do I do a hair follicle test or both? I think urine test. This is drug count. I'm not sure. Oh, uh, okay. And and when I get finished with that drug test, let me see if I'm 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 just getting clarification. So bear with me. Uh, when I get finished with the with the test, I will have to pay you guys eighty dollars for the test. Uh, you. You will not pay us that immediately. You will pay that when you start working with us. Okay, when so we're not money for the first week. Oh, okay. So I gotta. So from what I'm from what I'm understanding, I gotta pay for my own drug test. But you will set it up. We will pay. We will pay because we have account with MedSup, and then when you start working with us after I don't know. Uh, when you will arrive, then we cut that money from your check. But in the moment oh. when you are in, in lab, we are paying for that. We have accounts in them, and they cut money from our credit card. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So and then when you start when working start. with us, we will cut that from your check. Oh, okay, okay. So, so so far as far as the money that I'm that I'm looking to uh, that I'm look that you guys is looking to get from me. Two thousand dollars for escrow, and somewhere in the ballpark of eighty to one hundred dollars for the drug test. Eighty dollars. Eighty dollars for the drug test. Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. and you said that you can get me up. You can get me up to orientation mm -hmm. in the amount of a hundred dollars. So uh -huh. that's right. So either a bus. Or an inexpensive plane ride. What about what about if I just want to just drive up there? I rent, you know, I would rent the car on my own. Would you just, you know, just give me the hundred dollars for the uh for the fuel and everything? They will give you. They will give you. They will give you fifty dollars uh, before you start driving, and then fifty bucks when you arrive. So oh. that would be hundred dollars. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. So how long is uh okay? What about hotel and stuff like that? Do you do hotel you... we are covering orientation takes two hours. Uh, if you if you for example if we have some later flight or something, uh, for example you arrive at five p.m. Uh, then we we are arranging Uber from from airport to hotel. We are covering that, and we are paying room in hotel. Uh, so that is on us. We have one one hotel near our office where we put all of our drivers. 
and then tomorrow again we are calling Uber and we are moving you in the office for orientation. Orientation takes two hours. Oh, oh, just two hours for orientation. Okay, and I'll be That's right. right. Uh, okay, and I'll be right, uh, right into the truck. Okay, cool. Um, That's right. So of course, you know, getting the orient, well, being that orientation is two hours. I guess everything from uh, paperwork and all that other good stuff is done. Well, at least some of it is done before I get to orientation, right? Everything is done. They are preparing everything basically before you are coming. We are making appointments for every orientation mm -hmm. because of COVID-19, we can't put too much people in the office. So gotcha. we need to, to discuss with every driver what time he will have orientation because safety and account manager needs to be ready, you know, for you to help you with that. So that's basically it. Okay. Okay. Cool. Awesome. Uh, what's the starting pay there? Uh, I'm a, I'm a five year driver. So how, how much would you guys be? Uh, we are paying 0 0.50 cents per mile. If you have clean record, maybe I can do more, but I need to check. Okay. I need to check your record. I need to check your application mm -hmm. and we guarantee at least 3000 miles per week. Okay. I'm I'm looking at the uh you know I found you guys on uh on Facebook that that's how I came across you guys um I'm looking here it's a five thousand dollars sign on bonus how is that paid out uh give me one second where did you saw that because we are not offering that it, oh give me one second maybe oh. you saw that for for lease give me one second okay give me one second where did you saw that because I'm watching Facebook right now. Well, actually, I'm looking. This was back in October 2019. Yeah. So, okay, yeah. okay, all right. Yeah. So this, so this is, so this is the old one. So I guess I gotta. I guess. And and probably and probably that was for uh, for owner operators, not for company driver. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right. So, are are you guys offering a sign-on bonus now or no? At the moment, no. Oh, okay. Okay. So, what's all paid out to what what would all be paid out to me? Like breakdown, holiday, detention, layovers. Uh detention and layover, we are we are uh, discussing that with with broker. I mean, in our in your situation when you are company driver, we can't afford for you to sit somewhere. So you will be moving all the time. Oh, okay. Cool. Awesome. Uh, I'm assuming this is like a regional position. So how often do I get my, how often do I get my full, uh, my, my home time is, it's every week, right? Uh, two, no, two weeks on the, on the road weekend phone. I'm, I'm sorry. Would you say? Uh, Two two weeks on the road, weekend home. Okay, so two weeks on the road with one weekend home. No weekend, only weekend home. Week Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Oh, okay, weekend. okay, but you want me to do I two? Understand? But you want me to do two weeks though? Not it's not every week. Not every week, no. Oh, it's not every week. Okay. <laughs> So, so you want me to be out over the road for two weeks, and then at the end of the second week, I get to go home for my full weekend. That's right. You just that's right. Uh, you just need to inform dispatcher on time that you want to go home, that he has enough time to you know send to that direction. Okay, awesome. We we get to take the trucks home, right? That's right. If you know some safe place or something where you can put truck and trailer, then you can you are going home with truck. Okay. And then you know when you are ready Monday then just, you know, you Call can leave in the and truck. Let, let them know that I'm Said, ready. Yeah. Okay. Uh what equipment do you guys currently have in the fleet? Honestly, depending I can find maybe two thousand nineteen truck I can see what I have because a lot of trucks are covered so I'm waiting some trucks to arrive in Chicago, we have from 2014 to 2019. Uh, when you are approved driver, when I'm checking your record, uh, then before you 
you come, you tell me I, I want to come for two days, then I'm telling you what equipment I have at the moment because I'm the main recruiter, but there is a couple of people who are doing the same, you know, the same thing oh, okay. as I'm doing. So depending what truck will be covered. Okay, okay, cool, awesome. And then I'm telling you I have this, this, this. What truck you want, you tell me, then I have that truck for you because we are not doing that. I tell you that I have some units and you go to Chicago and I don't have that truck. Okay. So I'm telling you what I have. Okay, awesome. Are are they man? Well, let me ask you. What's the amenities? Are they manuals, automatics? What, what and uh, what, what all come? The, all the trucks, all the trucks usually are manual, newer truck automatic. If if a driver prefers an automatic, would 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 you guys be able to accommodate them? You mean uh, I can give you the automatic? Oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay. Uh, what about the amenities? What's what's all in the trucks? What, what do you got for us? Like microwaves? Also, also depending from the units. Some units have everything. Some units not really depending what we have at the moment. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, back, so we back. can we can discuss about you know truck detail when you fill up application and when I check your record. Oh, okay. So okay. Okay. Then then I can I just text you from my cell phone. Uh. Did you receive maybe? I just put my name. Uh, Tammy. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Okay. Uh, yeah, I only have. Do me a favor and reply with your email, and I will send you the link for online application. We will go from there. Oh, okay. Well, I'm actually on the website, so I, I'm I'm looking at I'm looking at the website now. Uh, and it says you know application. No, I like that. Um, but I only have a yeah, few. I only, you can fill up application there. I, I only have a. I only have a few more questions, if if you don't mind. Tell me. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, I I don't have a felony. Uh, you know, I'm 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 you know my background is clean. But do you guys give drivers with felonies a chance though? Really depending when what what happened and when happened. Oh. Insurance is deciding, not me. So I will say that depending what what was the felony and when felony happened. Oh, okay, cool. Awesome. So insurance and insurance have you know the last word. For us, the most important thing is is the record, driving record. Oh, okay. Because you are driving a truck. Okay. So. I will say really, really depending. Okay, um, and you you did tell you did say that you 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 know after you check the records and everything that you can start mm -hmm. me with a little bit more sixty cent a mile. Um, are you guys ten ninety nine or or W two? Uh, ten ninety nine. Ten ninety nine. Okay, so you are so you are ten ninety nine company. That's right. So y'all don't have hundred percent. Okay, so as far as benefits goes, uh. I, I gotta cover my own benefits, like. Uh, that's right. That's okay. Right. Okay. I'm okay. not sure, about, I, I'm not. You know, you you know that better than me. But I know we are ten ninety nine hundred percent. Okay. Okay. Cool. Awesome. Awesome. All right. So my last question deals with uh, driver safety. Uh, you know, in the light of dangerous situations that's going on right now, um, and you know, trucking right now is probably the worst job to have in in these trying it times is, it is hard job right now yeah 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 how do you guys how do you guys protect uh will protect me or protect your drivers with loads going to like high-risk cities and stuff like that uh, always you will have uh you will not put even if your company driver you will not put to go somewhere where it's not safe Either that is maybe weather con condition or maybe some protest, you know, like that, that happened like two months ago. And safety will inform, for example, we had protests in Chicago and safety inform what route the driver needs to drive. Safety is always sending message about duty inspection, about slowdown, that you need change where you can go, where is bad weather and everything. So every dispatcher is familiar with all of that. Okay. If there is a storm or hurricane, D 
dispatcher is informed in 8 a.m. that he can send you right there. Okay, okay. What about what, what's your policies on firearms for self defense? About what? What's your policy on firearms for drivers' self defense? Can I can I have a honestly, gun? Can I, can I have a gun on on on? on honestly, I, I don't know about that. I, honestly, I don't know about. I would need to check. All right, all right. Well, that's all I have, Tammy. But I I do have one last question though, and and it, and it's a concern that I came across in in a Facebook group. Um, I'm not mm-hmm. sure if this particular driver, you know, is disgruntled or anything like that, but. Uh, they they came in the in the group complaining about the company. Um, I think they said something to the effect that the that the truck broke down and they wasn't able to get the truck back because you guys owe the 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 company that was working on the truck uh, money and. You guys, you know, they kind of, they they kind of insinuated that you guys left them stranded. Uh, being that I just came across, you know, that particular uh, post, I I did my due diligence to go back and see if there's other reviews about the company. You know, that's that's what I do. You know, I try yeah, to. Yeah, you will always find reviews. You will always find. For example, driver who put us that we screwed him, he owes us five thousand dollars and he leaves the truck. So, I uh, I don't care honestly about about too much about reviews and everything because oh, okay. it is always been will be drivers who didn't do their job. Of course, sometimes we we'll probably make mistake. Also, I mm-hmm. will not say that we are the best. We are not. Trucking is hard. So, but. I have we have drivers for three years now in the company, so that that will say a lot. Okay, all right, cool, cool. Well, like I said, that's all I have. Uh, I will take this information back with me. I'm gonna go ahead and compare it to all the other companies that I have talked to so far, and uh, and I will also share this on my social media as well. You know, I I network with uh, a lot of truckers like myself, so. You know, somebody might be interested in coming in and uh, talking with you guys. You know, you probably they probably might heard it from me or something like that. But I appreciate your time. Thank you very much. If you if you fill up application, let me know. You have my cell phone, okay? I will do that. I will do that. Thank you very much. Be safe. Be safe on the road. You too. Now, shy logistics, everybody. Man, it was kind of hard uh, trying to understand uh, what she was saying. And I, I'm really coming to the, the realization that a lot of Chicago trucking companies, you know, out in Chicago, Illinois, you know, I, I, I call them black ops companies. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, they're owned by, you know, they're they're owned by you know foreigners and stuff like that accent is real tough i mean it's it's real tough to to follow and i did not want to make her feel some kind of way by me keeping keep repeating what she was trying to you know trying to tell me about the company but shy logistics man what do you guys think of the company man i mean two thousand dollar escrow that that kind of threw me aback uh, maybe i can understand why they're deducting that you know they you know they're they're giving you the truck and they they want their truck clean they want their truck to be taken care of they want their trucks to to come back the same way you got them so Two thousand dollar escrow. Do you you guys good with that? I mean, you do get it back at the 
you know, if you decide to quit or get terminated, but of course it's going to be like, you're not going to get it back right away. You're going to get it back like 30 days after, but, um, $2,000 escrow and you pay $80 for the drug tests. So, I mean, you probably could just get the drug test yourself. Or if you already have your medical card, then you might not even need uh, a drug test. Um, they're going to send you out to Chicago. It's a two-hour, two-hour orientation so you're pretty much in and out i'm i'm assuming during that time you just come in sign paperwork uh give them the information so they can set your uh direct deposit up and all that good stuff two hours and then boom you're in the truck and you're gone uh they she said they're going to keep you rolling they is i guess it's regional is it's regional but they want you to stay out for two weeks at a time and you can get your full weekend off at the end of the second week you can take the truck home truck and trailer you know i'm assuming the way they're going to do it is they're going to get you a load friday and then you just drop it off on monday or you drop it off friday and you know be ready monday uh again like i said i you know i i found this post uh i found this post on on Facebook by way of my favorite subscriber. Shout out to uh, shout out to her for bringing Shy Logistics to my attention. Uh, unfortunately, like I said in the conversation, it was a young lady that was kind of in a precarious predicament. Uh, I did try to reach out to the young lady to, you know, see if she was all right. You know, the ladies of the Facebook group, shout out, Shout out to She Trucking Facebook Facebook group, uh, Sheree Moore, She Trucking. Uh, shout out to them for them coming together to help the young lady out in her time of need. Um, but as of now, we're not sure of her situation. Um, the young lady that brought this uh, company to my attention is not able to get to hook up with the young lady that was complaining about it. So I don't know. <laughs> don't know. But uh, if you guys are interested in Shy Logistics, their phone number is 630-358-4242. Uh, click one and ask for the recruiting department. And the young lady there would uh answer any and all information that you may have so on that note what do you guys think of that call uh is shy logistics is a company for you something that you might be interested in uh they also offer leasing uh i'm assuming all the information that she gave me as far as um as far as company driver goals goals for leasing I wasn't able to get the amount. You start at 60 cent a mile, uh, company driver, maybe a little more a mile on leasing. Their company trucks though. I'm not sure about their company trucks, man. They 2014s to 2019s. I don't know. But anyway, if you guys are interested in shot logistics, give them a call. All right. Well, that's it for this episode of uh, Lockout Men Podcast, the MTC edition. If you like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell and that all button for more. You know what I'm saying? Yo, if you want to hook a brother up with some coffee, you can do that. Hit me up in the in the coffee app. It's in the description. Or you can be easier. You can just hit me up in the uh, cash app. Dollar sign. Lockout men. Well, let me know who you want to call next. You know, if you the call that you want me to call might be the next might be the next call. I guess I don't know. Stay tuned for next week's episode of. Uh, of uh, MTC 2.0. It might be the company that you want to see. Yo, until then, you take care. I'll holler at you guys later. Peace.